Hello and welcome to our lesson on what is database normalization. Data to be stored in a given database normally comes from several sources, for instance, receipts, purchase orders, invoices, user forms, report cards, etc. The design of such a database and its related relations should ensure that all the data is going to be captured, it's going to be well organized, and that no problems are likely to occur. And these problems could be redundancies as well as anomalies. Thus, when we talk about database normalization, we mean about a process that needs to be followed to ensure that we organize our fields in a way that eliminates redundancies as well as dependencies. For example, suppose we needed to store all the data in the student module card that is shown. We shall create one large relation and we are going to store all the data as shown. We have captured the student ID, the student name, the year, the semester, course code, course name, unit code, and unit name. However, as we are going to note, is that we have redundancies. As you can see that we are repeating the student ID, the student name, the year, the semester, the course code, and the course name. So as we cater for the more than one unit that a given student is doing. And therefore, we need mechanisms to remove this redundancy. And how we normally do that is that we are going to break down or divide or decompose this one large table into several smaller tables to ensure that we minimize the data redundancy as well as dependency. So we are going to move from one relation to four several other relations. And so that whole process that makes us move from this one relation to these four relations all in an attempt of getting rid of the redundancies is what we are going to refer to as database normalization. The other definitions that are also used to define database normalization, a systematic approach of decomposing a table to eliminate data redundancies, which involves division of a large table into smaller other tables. Stay with me as we move to the next lesson as to how we normally do it step by step. Thank you for watching and I wish you a blessed day.